1150 AM, WEJM Chicago, your Sunday Gospel Connection. Hey, we're listening to Delta Robinson on the Gospel Connection. It's WEJM 950 AM, 950 AM. Good evening and welcome to Sunday Gospel. Zelda Robinson joining you in the 4 o'clock hour. You call somebody and tell them, yeah, Zelda's on. Yes, your Sunday Gospel connection is in full force. And today's show is dedicated to your prosperity consciousness and the Reverend Dr. Johnny Coleman of Christ Universal Temple, who's celebrating 40 years in the ministry. As we kick off today's show, let us affirm together today... I receive this goodness. Everything I am and have is increased by it. I identify everything I do with success. I think affirmatively, and in all my prayers, I accept abundance. Whatever I need, whenever I need it, and wherever I need it, for as long as I need it, will always be at hand. I no longer see negation or delay or stagnation in my affairs, but rather... I claim that the action of the living spirit prospers everything I do and increases every good I possess and through me brings gladness and joy, happiness and success to everyone I meet. Everyone, everything I think about shall be animated by divine presence, sustained by infinite power and multiplied by divine love. And so it is as we kick off today with Hezekiah Walker Yes, your favorite in my Chicago zone, Grace and Glory Covenant Choir, and Stan Sa Candy Staten. As we continue, yes, with Zoe Ministries on the Gospel Connection, 950 AM, WEJM. Candy Staten on the Gospel Connection, when I see the blood, Grace and Glory Covenant Choir, all. In his hands, Hezekiah Walker with 99 and a half, and from Zoe Ministries, come together and make a joyful noise. And that's why we're here. Yes, it's 422 on the Gospel Connection. Zelda Robinson sitting in with you to make a joyful noise. And I know there's something you want to hear. I know you just can't think of the name. Well, I tell you what, just hold on. Give praise and give thanks to God, and you know he'll sing you the one that you need to hear. Baldy, praise God. I'd like to thank you and take the opportunity for allowing me to be a part of your day, because without you, there is no man. Praise God. Coming up Wednesday, October 30th, if you were not at CUT this morning, you missed a blessing. In honor of celebrating 40 years to the Reverend Dr. Johnny Coleman of Christ Universal Temple. Celebrating 40 years in the ministry. Can you believe that? That's only as long as I've been living. And I discovered today that she is the first black person, male or female, to build a church in Chicago. There were plenty of storefronts, but she built a church from the ground up. And in honor of her work, this show is dedicated to her today and to you, too. A guest flew in. Oh, it was just tremendous this morning. She had guests that flew in from all over the country, and they gave her gifts and flowers. But most importantly, she's made a difference in the, in the consciousness of people. That's you and me and, and showing that prosperity. It's, she's a living example of what prosperity is, and that just means so much. So much they call her Miss Prosperity. And her guest today was none other than the Reverend Dr. Frederick Eichencotter. He's known as Reverend Ike in New York. And he was there this morning. Wonderful man, I must tell you. I have always heard negative things about him, but I said, I am not going to buy into that. Let me see if this is a con. So I had to go see for myself this morning. And I'd just like to share some of that with you. His title today talked about Mind Over Money. And it was quite interesting, and I think you'll enjoy this. Thrilling occasion. And I believe that a lot of you here in Chicago realize what a blessing it is to be in the presence and in the ministry of such a spiritual giant as Reverend Dr. Johnny Coleman.
Now she promised me 40 minutes. I just would like to let you know that. We bargained. That's a little short for an evangelist. But we'll see how many souls we can save from poverty in that time. And usually when my fundamentalist friends ask me, Reverend Ike, are you still saved? I said, oh yes, the Lord saved me from poverty and the lack of money and I ain't about to backslide. <laughs> and uh, today, the subject which I have selected deals with one of my favorites. And so I've called this subject Mind Over Money. Let's hear it, mind over money. And as a reference to this subject, I have selected chapter 5, page 35 of Reverend Ike's study guide. I have to do my uh, commercials a little sneakily when Reverend Coleman is here. And I'm glad to see that everybody got a copy. So please turn with me to Reverend Ike's Science of Living Study Guide, titled, Reverend Ike's Secrets for Health, Happiness, and Prosperity for You. Because a lot of times when I meet people, they say to me, well, Reverend Ike, how do you do it? As a matter of fact, it tickled me some years ago when I went to a certain city for the first time. And a lot of the pastors of different denominations in the city wanted to meet me, but they did not want anybody to know <laughs> that they wanted to meet the money preacher. And so they got a private hotel banquet room and shut me up in there to pick my brain. <laughs> Nicodemus is not dead, y'all. Nicodemus still comes to Jesus by night. And I remember the first minister that spoke, looked at me and he said, Now, Reverend Ike, don't you bother about these other people who criticize you and these other ministers who criticize you because there isn't a one who, if they could do the same thing, wouldn't do it. And they wanted to know, how do you do it? Well, I'm talking about mind over money. I'm talking about good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money today. And this really tells you how I do it. And, uh... Right. The Townsend Community Singers with Shout on the Gospel Connection, 9.50 a.m. W.E.J.M., where we play the latest, and yes... The Greatest in Sunday Gospel as we continue with more great gospel from Reed's Temple Choir and Aretha Franklin. Here's Beverly Crawford, 9.50 a.m. I give unto you Beverly Crawford with Jesus Precious King and the Thompson Community Singers with Shout. And yes, that's what we do best here on the Gospel Connection on a Sunday afternoon. We just shout. Oh, yes, we do. I'd like to say hello to Pee Wee Nixon, my godmother in the West Side. Thank you so much for letting us know how you feel today and that you're out with a cold. It's okay because God is still good. We'll say a prayer and just watch the cold just go on away. And speaking of cold, have you noticed the weather? Yeah, I think our Indian summer days are over. Partly cloudy tonight. Colder down in the 40s and tomorrow mostly sunny and cooler. High in the upper 50s right now at Jesus Name Apostolic Church. In Waukegan, where President Dwayne E. Tyus attends, it's 60 degrees. At Christ Universal Temple with the Reverend Dr. Johnny Coleman, it's 60. 
and on your radio, Zelda Robinson, waiting to give you another excerpt from the Reverend Ike this morning. Yes, he was the guest speaker celebrating 40 years with Dr. Johnny Coleman, and he talked about prosperity. I am so glad that I do not let other people's opinions sway mine, and he talked about mind over matter, but he also talked about mind over money. It's a consciousness thing. I think you'll enjoy this one, too. As I told him the other day, when Reverend Ike talks about money, it's got to show up. Say that to the two people next to you. When Reverend Ike talks about money, it's got to show up. All right. So listen. I'm not here just to tickle your ears. I mean business. And so I want you to be looking this week as you come to the service this morning and on Wednesday, the seminar at 7. Look for money and expect it to do what? Show up. Come on, let's, let's order money right now. Money, I order you to show up. Show up in my hands. Come on, bless those hands. Oh, I'm preaching mind over money already. Show up in my pockets. Money. I command you to show up. Show up in my bank accounts. Show up in my investments. Show up in my pocketbooks. Show up in my wallet. Money. money show up in my church show up in, my church. Show up in the wonderful projects of this church show up for reverend coleman and all of the wonderful things that she is being doing and having i see you money you're showing up everywhere I tell you to show up. Thank you, God, in me for money. All right, you better watch that now. I remember in New York at the Palace, if you happen to be watching in New York on this televised part of the program, at the Palace, Broadway 175th Street, New York, I preached a sermon titled, I Am Money. And, you know, sometimes people smile and they say, oh, you know, that Reverend Ike, he's just so cute. Now, I know that, but let's get down to business. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd like that. That's the Reverend Ike, Dr., the Reverend Dr. Frederick Eichenrotter, who spoke uh, this morning at Christ, Jesus, Christ Universal Temple with the Reverend Dr. Johnny Coleman. And he was talking about his... Um, Principles and how prosperity can be a part of your life. I, I liked what he said about uh, it's all in our consciousness. If we talk, if we say bad things about money, and I'll let you hear the, a little bit of that later. If we say bad things about money, the so money is like a woman. If you, women have intuition and, and money has intuition too, if you say something bad about it, it'll find its way to get away from you. So if you'd like to uh, attend in person and see what this Reverend Ike is all about, it's coming up this Wednesday. At CUT, Christ Universal Temple, that's at uh, 7 o'clock. The Reverend Ike, the donation is $25. And I hope to see you there. Also coming up in November, I'll be sharing with you the passion principles, how to live a life you love. So get ready coming up in the month of November. As a matter of fact, that's next Sunday. We'll be um, getting ready to kick off that, and I think you'll enjoy that. And Reverend Ike also talks about the three levels of prosperity, and most of the levels, the level that most people operate on, is the one of materialism. And I think we can change that just by practicing affirmations, and that's what we're going to start doing next month, okay? It's 4.52 as we continue with more great gospel from the latest from commissioned on 9:50 a.m. W E J M. Sit back, relax, and then let the spirit work you. Now, 
8.50 a.m. WEJM Chicago. Your Sunday Gospel Connection. Good evening and welcome to Sunday Gospel. Zelda Robinson joining you in the 5 o'clock hour as I dedicate the 5 o'clock hour to the man in Division 9 and Sylvia Taylor's health education class where I speak every Wednesday as part of my motivational ministry. And coming up in the 5 o'clock hour, we've got a guest, yes, from Miss Kim Stratton. She will be here shortly. Also, more excerpts from the Reverend Ike. And did you remember to turn back your clock one hour? Well, if you didn't, it's not too late because we've got some great gospel headed your way with LaShawn Pace, Jesse Dixon, and the Chicago Community Choir, and Albertina Walker as we kick off the 5 o'clock hour with Orlando Draper and Associates. On 9.50 a.m. W.E.J.M. The Reverend Jesse Dixon singing, he's able. Oh, yes, he is. Jesse Dixon and the Chicago Community Choir with He's Able. That's just from his latest CD. I knew you'd like that. Oh, yes, I did. Before that, LaShawn Pace, a double play with prayer, will fix it for you and hold out God is standing by. Orlando Draper and Associates, I got a feeling. Yes, indeedy, I got a feeling you're going to love this next set, sir. Coming up from the Reverend Eichenbotter, also known as the Reverend Ike, a traveling evangelist from New York City. I used to hear about this man when I was a little bitty girl. And I'm grown now, so I understand what they mean. And it's not that... I think people talk about you when they don't know you and when they don't understand you. I was with a friend the other evening, and he said that he just didn't like Whoopi Goldberg until he saw the movie, The Associate. And I just thought, I said, mm-hmm. See, Spirit has a way of showing us, uh, revealing to us what it is that we need to see. It's 522 on the Gospel Connection. More great gospel headed your way. But first, weather for the station that plays the latest and, yes, the greatest in Sunday gospel. Partly cloudy, cooling off tonight down into the 40s. Tomorrow, sunny and cool, high in the upper 50s right now at Apostolic Church of God in Christ. It's 59. At St. James Church of God in Christ, it's 59. And on your radio, Zelda Robinson. And it's time to remind you, yes, if you didn't, it's not too late to set that clock back just one hour. How do you remember that um, spring ahead, fall back? Yeah, people have been calling the station. You're on an early hour early. What happened? Said no, you forgot to set the clock. But it's all right because I'm here and I'll be here with you another glorious hour and a half. We've got Kim Stratton coming up shortly, but at first I'd like to let you hear this part. This is it. Just stood out. I just said hallelujah. This man does know what he's talking about. So here's the rest of the. Uh, the sermon from uh, Reverend Ike this morning at Christ Universal Temple, talking about prosperity and money. And I'm going to read the Science of Living principle, and because I'm an evangelist, I'm just going to have you repeat it after me for emphasis, because you know the mind, the subconscious learns by repetition. And you must do this if you want to get mind over money. You must get these principles, as I love to hear my lovely sister, Reverend Coleman, say. You must get these principles down into your subconscious self. And one of those processes is repetition. That's why you need to be here for every service, every class, every seminar. Get with it and don't quit it. Say that to the two people next to you. Get with it. You got a mean business. All right. Repeat this after me from Reverend Ike's book. Make sure that your mind is at peace with money. Now let me stop there for a moment. A lot of people have an uneasy feeling in their minds about money. That is a part of what I call the money rejection complex. Remember what I told you before, you know, money is a woman. She knows what you think about her. She knows 
how you feel about her. And if you're not comfortable with her, and if you badmouth her, she will leave you. <laughs> you must come to peace in your mind with money. Say that. <laughs> you must get to the point where you have a comfortable feeling in your mind about money. You see, you can't feel that money is dirty and filthy and nasty and all of those good things. But yes, I hear a lot of people saying now, well, but Reverend Ike, isn't the love of money the root of all evil? Well, let me answer this way. If there is anything worse and more evil than the love of money, it is the lack of money. The Gospel Connection, Jesus Be a Friend, 9.50 a.m. W.E.J.M. Will we play the latest and yes, the greatest in Sunday Gospel all day long. Kathy Myers before that with the armor of God. Yes, that's what I'm pre preparing you to do for the week because yes, there is going to be a challenge. As the Reverend Ike would say, there's going to be some blessings, some lessons, and some testings. <laughs> we came out, the, came out of church, and there was a lady standing over to the side, and she had a flat tire. And I said, girl, now you know there's a blessing in the sky, so it's a blessing and a lesson, and then you go do some testing, okay? It's 535 as we continue with more great gospel and more excerpts from the Reverend Ike talking about that money. Everybody loves to talk about money, and nobody loves it better and the Reverend I can remember you heard it here first on the Gospel Connection, 950 AM WEJM. It all depends on what you want money for and what you do with money. Very quickly, I teach people to say and to think about money, to have mind over money, that I am not the servant of money. Money is my loving and obedient servant. Let's hear it. I am not the servant of money. Money is my loving and obedient servant. You can do a lot of wonderful things with money. That's why I never accuse you of being evil. I remember some years ago, I got a call from our church in New York that one, that a, a, a lady had just come out of the hospital with a new baby. At that time, her husband worked for the church. And I understand I was told that they were behind on their rent and the marshals were on the way to put her and her newborn baby out in the snow and the cold. I said, oh God, I can't let that happen. And so I said to them, I said, get some money from somewhere and beat the marshals to the house. And don't let them put that lady and her baby out in the snow. And so, what was it that we needed to stop the marshal from putting that lady out in the snow and in the car? Money, honey. So don't be knocking money. I do all good things with money. Let's hear it. You see, that is a part of the correct formula of having mind over money. You see, I don't serve money. Money serves me. Let's hear it. mind over money and as long as you understand that there'll be no evil and so you're going to have to make sure that your mind is at peace with money in the fleeting moments now let's finish reading the science of living principle from Reverend Ike's book <laughs> everything comes to you through your very own mind now that's just a cosmic principle that's a universal principle everything comes to me through my very own mind let's hear it and it's important for you to know that because in knowing that you will clear your mind of all blockages of money people are, would be surprised to know how they continually kick money away from them all the time Remind me in the seminar Wednesday night, I don't have time today, to tell you one word 
that you are never supposed to say about money or refer to money by. There is a word that most people use, preachers, bankers, financiers, one word that they use that just kicks money away. And if you use that word about money, it will unconsciously and subconsciously kick money away from you. Now, don't ask me before the seminar Wednesday night. Bill Storm on the Gospel Connection, 9.50 a.m. W.E.J.M. Where we play the latest and, yes, the greatest in Sunday gospel all day long. A brand new one. It's called All in Your Name. G.M.W.A. before that. When I call your name. That's for David Dean, the Roseland Community Hospital, the AIDS peer coordinator. WEJM wants to remind you that Kim Strat will be at Christ Universal Temple. That's coming up Friday, November 15th in her third live recording and videotaping. The doors open at 6.30. Recording begins at 7.30. And the guest MC for the evening will be your gospel sister, none other. Then our V103 sister station, Miss Pam Morris. And some of the special guests for the evening will include Daryl Hallman and For His Glory Singers, a praise dance ministry, and Kim Stratton's Children's Choir. Advanced tickets are $10 at the door. There's 12 and there's also VIP seating, which includes a reception. Tickets are on sale at Harvin Christie Christian Bookstores at 71st and 71st in Jeffrey and 103rd and Western. New Sound Gospel. The Gospel Rack, Moody Bookstore, Pentecostal Word Explosion, Saving Grace Bookstore, Canaan Gospel Music, and the Apostolic Faith Church Tape Ministry. And if you'd like more information, call a Powerhouse Ministries production at 312-581-0868. I guess I should remember to say, what's the new area code, Lorraine? 773. 773. Couldn't even think of it. <laughs> 773- Five eight one zero eight six eight. So we may as well get used to saying it now, because by the time January rolls around, we'll still be saying three one two, and people won't be able to get us. Also, be able be sure to set your alarm clocks and wake up to Sunday morning Golden Gospel with your radio host, Brother Nash E. Schaefer Jr. He's on every Sunday morning right here from six until eight a.m. And the gospel program features the true, rich, recorded sounds of traditional gospel music by the pioneers and tra- trailblazers, both past and present. It's 551, nine minutes before the six o'clock hour as we continue with the queen of gospel herself, Miss Albertina Walker, on 9.50 a.m. WEJM. a.m. W.E.J.M. Chicago, your Sunday Gospel Connection. Hey, well, it's Del Delta Robinson on the Gospel Connection. It's W.E.J.M. 950 a.m. 950. Good evening and welcome to Sunday Gospel. Zelda Robinson joining you in the 6 o'clock hour as we kick off with B. Chase Williams and the Shabbat Choir, Yolanda Adams and the best of the Reverend Marvin Yancey. Here's Shirley Caesar live on 9.50 a.m. W.E.J.M. Yolanda Adams on the Gospel Connection, 9.50 a.m. W.E.J.M. Where we play the latest and the greatest in Sunday Gospel all day long. Jesus is the only way. B. Chase Williams in the Shabbat Choir, take a trip. Had a chance to meet him when I met Kim at uh, Angela Spivy's live recording. Shirley Caesar at the top from the request line. He will come. Oh, yes, he will. That's for Elizabeth. It's 628 on the Gospel Connection. More great gospel headed your way. But first, a special happy birthday to Melissa and the Kelly family in Hazelcrest, Illinois. Thank you so much for calling and letting us know how much you appreciate the Gospel Connection because without you, there's no me. Right, Lorraine? Right. And in honor of that, I've got some tickets to give away for you, but I'm not going to give them away just now. You need to know why I'm giving you these tickets. The young lady that I have in the studio has a new album out. It's, well, it's new, sort of, kind of. 
but she's about to do a live recording, so you don't want to miss this. Live recordings are really nice. Well, from this CD called I'm In This Place, this young woman has been nominated twice for Stellar Awards. Do you hear me? Not once, but twice. For the best solo performance for female and the best new artist. Also, she was nominated for two Dove Awards, the traditional Black Gospel Song of the Year, Rich in Jesus' Name, and Album of the Year, I'm In This Place. And that's the one that you're going to hear coming up very shortly. This young woman has sang with the best. Do you hear me? John P. Key, Yolanda Adams, who just went off. She's in here singing Yolanda's music better than Yolanda is. <laughs> Don't you tell her I said that now. <laughs> Kirk Franklin, yes, she sang with the family. Okay. Vicki Winans, Keith Stadden, and many others. And she also, she's appeared on Dr. Bobby Jones' Gospel Explosions, the new artist showcase of GMWA. A and the 1995 Stellar Awards. Yes. And you know she was at the Gospel Festival of Chicago. Mm -hmm. We saw you blowing people off the stage, girl. Mm, this woman can sing. Come on over here, Kim. Uh, Kim. I'd like to let you say hello to your Chicago audience and to tell them what's going on in your life and uh, why we need to be at this um, live recording and videotaping that's going on. Oh, I think videotaping is the key word. Somebody might show up. <laughs> well, we're going to show up anyway. But bless, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for blessing us with your presence here. And uh, tell us a little bit what's going on. Tell my audience what's going on about Kim that we need to know that we don't know. How about that? Well, Zelda, um, I'm recording uh, the third album. It's at Christ Universal Temple, Friday, November 15th. Doors open at 6.30 and recording starts at 7.30. Um, I'm really excited about this project. Uh, it's probably the largest project I've ever done, um, especially to carry it to Christ Universal. Mm -hmm. But um, that's the where God gave us a directive to do. Uh, we're real excited about it, and we ask that you would come on out. Um, you can pick up tickets at your favorite Christian bookstore, and they're only $10. You don't get in Christ Universal Temple on main floor for $10. Oh, no, you don't, because Reverend Ike will be there Wednesday, and the tickets are $25. How well do I know? Mm -hmm. I know that's right. <laughs> and we wanted to make it, um, we wanted to make it where everybody could come, uh, even children if they wanted to. So we made the tickets at only $10. And I got something real special. I started a children's choir. I have 50 kids that will be singing one song with me on my new album. I'm real excited. You got to hear my baby sing. All they right, man. Awesome. They're between the ages of 5 and 12. And, you know, uh, that's the age nobody really does stuff with kids. Amen. So I took them little babies, and, and we're training them, giving them professional training, and they'll be singing that night. So we'll we'll have the uh, Kim Ministry, the 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 Kim the Kim, Kim Stratton Children's <laughs> Choir, Kim Stratton Children's, Children's Choir. Choir. Well, you know we are a, a colorful and abbreviated people. We're always trying to shorten things. So. Oh uh, no, the little Kim, the little Kim. <laughs> yeah, I, and speaking of babies, I was looking at your bio, and the name of your children. You know, I've got to ask you this. Jacinta, Jason, Jared, and Jabari. Beautiful names. I know there's some history behind it, and I, and I just must know. It, it's really um, um, funny, the history behind it. I could never write J's. And, uh -huh, I couldn't write J's, so I figured if I named my children with J names, I have no other choice <laughs> but to perfect the letter J. I, I, and I perfected it too, Zelda. I know you did. Well, four of them, one right I after got, the other. Yeah, I got four reasons to perfect it. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, I when I first met you, we were sitting next to each other at Angela Spivy's live recording at uh, on Forty Seventh and King Drive. Right. Yes, and uh, was it somebody's music? No, Kim. Uh, Kim, not Kim. What's the girl's name? Angela Spivy. She was yeah. singing. She was on stage. Well, the choir was singing. And you were singing with her. And I'm sitting next to you. And I said, who, who is this? Oh, that's sitting next to me. I said, who is that? I got to have her on the show. Who is she? Somebody said, that's Cam Stratton, girl. I said, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> sitting up here beside all this mega talent and didn't <laughs> even know it. Um, a lot of people, um, I cut my hair off so people don't know 
who I am no more. And you should see if she's incognito today. Hat, hat, oh, hat, yeah. hat, 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 hat. As Lauren, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those days. I yes, understand. Oh, I, yes, that's Lord. why I keep it cut short on it. Don't have to be bothered with it. Ah, no, well, right. thank you so much for stopping by and, and sharing your blessing with us. And we will see you uh, coming up Friday, November 15th. That's yes. two Fridays from now. Not this Friday, but the next yeah. Well, uh, yeah, that's in two weeks. Two weeks about from Friday. Two and a half weeks. Yeah, about two and a half weeks. And and uh, since you're here and this is your live recording, why don't we let you give away the tickets? Okay. Okay. Uh, pick what a number. What do you want to do? Uh, God's number of perfection seven. Okay. She says call our number. Actually, we have two. So you want to make it seven, seven and fourteen? Yeah. Okay. Call her number seven and call her fourteen. You will get a pair of tickets each to see none other than Kim Stratton live. <laughs> and my third recording <laughs> and, and videotaping. And videotaping. And coming up Friday, November 15th at Christ Universal Temple, 119th and Ashland. And if you're my seventh and ninth caller right now at 630. Seven what did I say? You said seven, seven and, and nine. nine. Seven and nine. Oops, I'm sorry. Correct me, honey, because they will call me and tell me seven about my Seven and fourteen. Seven and Kim fourteen. Stratton said that. Kim said it. You heard her. She <laughs> said it loud and clear. At 630-895-1400. That's 630-895-1400. Yeah, we got a new zip code, remember? Oh, yeah, you didn't know? No. Lorraine, my producer, she just works so hard. She oh, doesn't even know the business. Out here? Yeah. When? You did since October twelfth. You know they changed us too. We seven seven three. I'm tired of all this. <laughs> so, wait a minute. so what do we do? I got new car. I got to make new cars build. Yes, you do, and I do too. And we'll but, but we'll get along with it. But we'll be okay with it. <laughs> now, here's Kim Stratton live in his place. What's the name of this song, Kim? The song is uh, everybody calls it Jehovah Jireh, but it's more than enough. It's more than enough, and yeah. you you've not heard more than enough. So you be sure and. Pick up that phone and dial now so you can win tickets to see Cam Stratton at Christ Universal Temple coming up Friday, November 14th, 15th on 9.50 a.m. W-E-J-M. Here's Kim, and I know you'll like it. Sit back, relax, and let the spirit move you as Kim Stratton takes you to a place that only Kim can take you. 9.50 a.m. W-E-J-M. Praise God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Praise God. We got a live 
Get you right here on the Gospel oh, Connection, 9.50 a.m. Spirit moves you, honey. You don't have to know what happened. All you have to do is be open and receptive to it. I know Dorothy Granberry and Mr. Lester Coleman from the South Side and West Side are just having a good time. Yes, they were my 7th and 14th caller. They will win tickets to your third live recording and videotaping that's coming up Friday, November 15th at Christ Universal Temple, mm, November 15th, yeah. this year, right. 1996. <laughs> yes, the guest MC for the evening will be your gospel sister, none other than V103, Pam Morris. We can also look forward to seeing Daryl Holman for his glory singers, a praise dance ministry, and yes, Kim Stratton's children's choir. Can you believe that? Yes, Miss Kim Stratton is going to be there, and I want to see you there. So to get your tickets, call the Powerhouse Ministries Productions at 312, or should I say 773-581-0868. That's 366 What's the area code? 773-581-0868. And you can also pick up your tickets at Harvest Christian Bookstore, New Sound Gospel, The Gospel Rack, Moody Bookstore, Pentecostal Word Explosion, Saving Grace Bookstore, and Canaan Gospel Music. Also, don't forget Apostolic Faith Church Tape Ministries at 38th and Indiana. So... That's, that's Kim Church, so don't forget about it. You know, you can go there and hear her. Aren't you in the choir, Kim? No, I'm not crying. Don't, but I sing with the choir. But she does sing with the choir. I was going to say, now, how'd you get away with that? Okay, we forgive you this time, but we do want to hear you sing sometime. Oh, I forgot to mention that our winners also won the, in addition to Kim Stratton's latest I'm in this place, they won Shaking in the House, live in L.A., with Hezekiah Walker, Yolanda Adams, who Miss Kim Stratton has already sang with, and Fred Hammond and the Radicals for Christ. Yes. Is this 99 and a half for him, too? Oh, my goodness, Lord. It's so good. You, have, you know only not have it. It's a bonus today. Mm, 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 mm. I tell you, God is abundant. Because she feels good. You have three today. So you have Loren Devarocha. Thanks for that. Also, I'd like to thank um, my executive producer, Loren Devereaux, for being so generous to you, and I know you thank her, too. And don't forget about uh, Marsha Noble from the Midwest Gap Magazine. She's also a producer here. She's also on the air herself at WHBK. Mm-hmm. See, you thought I forgot. <laughs> it's 6.54 on the Gospel like Today. Now, <laughs> Spirit save me, girl, in the, in the, just in the nick of time. So I'll see you Friday, November 15th. I'll see you back here next week from... 4 until 7, and also see you Sunday, uh, Wednesday, that's this coming Wednesday at Christ Universal Temple at 7 p.m. with the Reverend Ike, and uh, also like to say thank you to Linda Shepard from Women Employed, she's the program director there for the Career Links Youth Mentoring Program. We have a meeting coming up uh, this coming Tuesday at 7 o'clock, 545, if you would like to be a mentor, please call Linda Shepard for our young women who don't know that there is a future beyond what they see, babies having babies. We've got a remedy for that. It's a work transition program that allows them to see that there's more to life than what they see right there in the community. And it just, all you have to do is show up. You don't need any qualifications. You don't need a PhD. We would get Kim, but Kim's so busy. Maybe I mean, we'll just get her to show up one day. But anyway, call Linda Shepard at Women Employed. She's the program director. And the number is uh, 773 773- 782-3902. That's 773-782-3902. And that's Linda Shepard. Kim, would you like to leave our words, uh, leave our listeners with a word? Yes, I would um, just like to say, um, no matter what you're faced with in life, uh, no matter what the enemy has done to you or, or is doing, um, there's a hope and the mercy of God calls you beautiful he sees you not what you are but what you can be so be encouraged and keep the faith and know that God's mercy sees you beautiful amen thank you so much I really appreciate your company out and I hope that there's something that Ken said uh, something that I said or something you heard in the message today that will make a difference in the value of your life and I hope to see you back here next week from, from 4 until 7 and we'll just do it all over again 
I'm Zelda Robinson. I'll see you then on 9.50 a.m. W.E.J. And good night, and God bless. Here's Kirk Franklin. Whatever you do, don't give up because it's not in you. 9.50 a.m. Come on, family, help me share. Oh, my brother,